Hello guys and welcome to a new brand video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the login admin error on WordPress. So the first thing that you will need to do now is to open your web browser. Either it was Google Chrome, Safari, Opera, Microsoft Edge, any web browser will do to work. After that, you will need just to go to uh, the searching bar and type WordPress. And basically after you go to the WordPress and click on the wordpress.com you click on the first link now we will need to create an account so we can access the wordpress.com so basically we need just to click on get started and here we will need to add our email address you add your username and then you choose password otherwise you can just log in with using your google account or apple account and basically after you create an account, you will need just to verify the account by clicking on a link that will be sent to your mailbox uh, by the WordPress organization or website. So basically, after you create an account and verify it, we will need to log into this account so we can start uh, using our WordPress website or platform. So basically, you will need just to use the email that you have just created the account with you click on continue then you go to the password you enter the password and finally you will need now just to follow these simple steps so basically after you look into your account or uh, your dashboard you need just to know this problem can be occurred a cause of some plugins so basically first you will need just to deactivate all the plugins and then you will need just to connect to your wp admin so basically to deactivate all the plugins we will need just to go to our server and go to wp uh, content which is uh, the wordpress content uh, files and folders and here we will find the plugins make sure just to rename the plugins just rename them whatever you want so only just change the name so it cannot be uh, identified with uh, wordpress so you can be able to uh, connect and then you will need just to connect to the wordpress and wp admin and then you will be able to connect then you will need just to rename uh, the plugins folder as they were so basically just make sure that the name is as it was and then refresh the page and start uh, login or start activating the plugins one by one so you can see where is the problem so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time